I'm in southwest London now and the area of Wimbledon. I'm here to see this semi detached property that's been split up into four flats. Off street parking, garage, and it looks a bit of a unit. The big news with this lot is it comes with planning permission. And let me tell you what for a massive three story side extension. A massive rear three story extension as well. So this building goes from a four flat, four apartment building to a seven flat, seven apartment building. So from this one lot, there was the opportunity to get a magnificent seven flats. The successful bidder was full-time property developer, Mulam. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. You have got what I would consider to be a bit of a monster on your hands. Yeah, I would agree <laughs> with that. <laughs> did, you, did you actually go to auction to try and find something this big? Yes, uh, we were specifically looking for something on this sort of scale. OK, and what, what are you busy with? Stuff like this? Or? Yeah, so we've got three or four other similar projects like this on the go at the moment, and we're always looking for new stock as well. The options are vast, but uh, fortunately, we bought this with planning permission in place already. Um, so it's currently laid out as uh, four rental flats. Um, we've got planning permission for a three-storey side extension and a three-storey rear extension and complete reconfiguration of the building and we'll have seven units at the end of it. We are in a conservation area, so we'll be retaining the front facade and all that beautiful Victorian brickwork. There's no little, uh, there's no little project here, is there? No, there's not. No, this is, uh, this is a big old lump here, but um, it's uh, pretty much our bread and butter nowadays, so uh, we're, we're very confident with it. Positive? Absolutely, always. And when we, when we go, you're going to get started? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Unless you want to hang around and give us a hand. I'm, I'm washing my hair. I can't oh, so. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Listen, Mulham, good luck. Thank you. Great project, uh, and, and I think what you've told me is going to be perfect for this area, so uh, good luck to you. Thanks very much. We're back to see the finished development. Well, Mulham's development certainly did get people looking. In fact, six of the seven flats are now occupied. Luckily for us, this top floor two bed flat is as yet unsold, allowing us to show you what a fantastic job he and his team have done. Yeah, we're actually standing in my favorite flat, flat seven. And I think the best thing about this flat actually is the fact that we're up on the top floor um, and we've got that lovely pitched ceiling with lots of natural light coming in. That's always a big bonus. To realise the full potential of the development, Mulan was intent on providing a top quality finish to these flats. Given our proximity to Wimbledon Town Centre, we went for a, a premium finish here, um, and that's throughout the flat. So uh, we upgraded the specification of the oak flooring. Uh, the kitchens were a top spec range with stone worktops, uh, bathrooms, decking on, on the roof terraces, everything. Um, we, we really pushed the boat out. And it wasn't just indoors that benefited from those little extra touches. When you saw it last time, obviously, it was a bit of a building site. Very pleased to say that uh, the garden's now been fully landscaped. So we've got paving all the way down the side, planters. We've got artificial turf at the back and uh, railway sleepers to form beds around the trees in the garden. There's also an off-street parking space assigned to one of the two bed flats, attractive wood-clad bin storage and bike racks to the back of the building. And for those flats without the benefit of a balcony, this communal back garden space is a nice place to get some sun and fresh air. But Mulham is certainly feeling more relaxed now. This project is complete, but he did have some challenges to overcome along the way. The biggest challenge we've had has been the challenge of the industry generally uh, in the last 12 months or so, which has been the supply of materials and labour. We've got lots of other projects going on uh, at the moment, and obviously it's always uh, a bit of a balancing act uh, running large projects like this simultaneously, but we've got a great team behind us that enables us to do that. 